Can I help you? Deke, you have a ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Way. Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt, oh, Maria, right? Jesus. Sasshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh... I'll handle it. I thought you might. Yeah? What were you saying? Deke, thank God. You've got to go after him now. Uh, you were saying something? Deke, thank God. You've got to go after him now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No. He's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. All right. I'll see if I can track him down. <clears throat> One last ambush, are you? Uh, let's see. Should work. Here and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so uh, I mean, more please. What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn, goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. I hear you, uh, St. John. Uh, Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? You don't need these.
Won't be needing this. to drop. You? you find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. Hey, what do you need? Hey, how's it going? I 
There you go. <sighs> Needs a tune-up. Take a closer look. All right, what have we got? <laughs> Still got the Tucker. I spotted him, and it looks like he was, uh. Like he was waiting for someone. Deke, don't let him get away. I want him alive. Uh, what the shit, Tucker, alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he stashed it. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. But oh, come on, Roach. Where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch. Why? All right, let's do this the hard way. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, 
Hey, Tuck, I got him. Mark down these coordinates Don't leave me and here. Sense Heard that. what you did to Leon, okay, Dick? Uh, uh, please, He's man. Alive. Come on, please. Did he have my drugs? Deep yeah, duck. he's alive. Please, please, if you want him to stay that way, Alki, you better hurry up and get off his ass. St. John out. Hey, Boozman, you there? Yeah, Crazy question. Any idea where I can find a thunder egg? What the hell for? The kid I brought in just trying to find a way to cheer. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop and build that crater. Finish burning out these nests. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. should be it.
Open up. I've seen him before. God damn it. Lisa, I go away. Brush you something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Copeland lately. <laughs> you tell him I said get off his ass and do some work for me. Yeah, I'll let him know. Mm. See you again. Yeah. St. John, you out there? We got a job for you here at Peaceful Lake. Nope. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll head your way, St. John out. Finish burning out this infestation zone. Son of a 
of a bitch!
Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I oh, know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm alright, I'm alright. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you wanna put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... God. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender? You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants, and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, 
Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. 